My name is Trevor Joseph, you're watching Rolling Slow Media. And today we are down at Goodwood for flat six. Now this has got to be one of the biggest Porsche meets this year and it's being held at the Goodwood Motor Speed Circuit the same day as the Formula One at Silverstone. But we're down here, we're going to check out some of the cars that have turned up. There's going to also be some on-track action which we will check out as well. But yeah, literally I've just arrived and you can see there's a nice selection of cars just lined up everywhere. Like we've got a nice 996 GT2, we've got a GT3 997, there's a 996 GT3 over there. Yeah, it's so lovely, man. Nice. Check out this. Oh, hi, you're right. Got a 964 and we've got a Targa. Damn, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna just roll through the car park. Speedster. Guys, you're gonna love this one. Stay locked. It's gonna be a good one. Peace. Right guys, so uh, we're gonna head over here, just the other side of the track. But before we do, there is one car that I'm the owner that we need to have a little chat with because I've seen this car on Facebook and the wheels is what's drawn me to it. So uh, we're gonna finally meet the owner of this beautiful 997 Carrera S with the aero kit. And what are these wheels called? Advent GTs. Advent GTs. Yeah. Bruv, nice to meet nice you. Nice to have you. What's your name? Matt. This is Matt, guys. And yeah, we, um, we met on Facebook and I've just been like drooling over his car. <laughs> and every time I log on and I see a post, I'm like, oh, look at that, look at those wheels. <laughs> so yeah, Matt, tell us about your car. How long have you had it? Uh, I've had it for about, uh, probably about three months now. Yeah. So I've always wanted a yellow 911. Is it your first Porsche? Yeah, first yeah. Porsche, yeah. Nice, right, you jumped in hard, didn't it? You hit yeah, the ground yeah, yeah. <laughs> running. I've always had like Jack cars, RX-7s and stuff. Ah. Oh. Um, I, I just built one, I was like, now nah, sod it, it's now time to just sort of get, get exactly what I want. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I really wanted the yellow, and there's only like nice. 30 of these ever sold in the UK. Yeah. And it's got factory X51 kit, factory speed yellow, factory aero, so it's, I think it's only like one of one of this spec actually, which is quite cool. It's not a GT3, so it's not really ah, a... Who cares, who cares? But yeah, it's a lot less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Ooh. so I'm just trying to do like sort of like a Japanese sort of vibe. Yeah, so yeah. The car is for it. So, I have yeah. noticed that whenever people put like Jap wheels on Porsches, like yeah. the community gets a bit <laughs> moany, don't they? <laughs> you know what, this had such a great like reception. It. Yeah. yeah, honestly, everyone seems to love them, so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite good. And to be fair, I don't really care. It's, I, that's exactly, what I love, so. exactly. Yeah. Cool, and so you, you, you're not even like mainland, are you? You're no, I live white, yeah, <laughs> right. so. So every car show, you've got to jump on a ferry. Yeah, yeah and it crucifies me. And like, <laughs> my, I can't go that low. Yeah, I'm only yeah. on high backs, but I can't go that low because getting off the ferry, it just scrapes so badly. Yeah, yeah. Got front lip anyway, unsighted. So what are the roads like around where you live then? Good, good, oh, yeah. good. It's like, well, there's some shockers, yeah. but there is some beautiful roads. So cool. yeah, you do get to really enjoy the roads, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. you must love it in this. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. I really do. Yeah, it's good. Cool. That's, um, uh, exhaust, any any mods? Standard uh, exhaust? Still? It's got the X-Pipe in it. Um, okay. Being the X51 car, it's got the upgraded manifolds. Yeah. Uh, it's got design tech back boxes. Okay. And then a soon to be center exit exhaust with a GT3 rear bumper. So, yeah. yeah oh, look, 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 there's one there. You see? Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, another speed yellow. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Cool, man. Well, yeah, it's finally nice to meet you. You know, like I said, like I always see his posts on Facebook and I always like them because, yeah, the wheels just pop on this car. So, yeah, definitely nice to meet you, man. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a good day today. Yeah, if you ever want to do like a future video or a drive. I so do. We yeah. so, guys, we so have to. We so have to. Yeah, it's just over 400 is mapped too. So yeah. All right, okay. Well, you know, I haven't been in a mapped one yet, yeah. so uh, this will be a will yeah. be a good one to, to know what it's like. Yeah? 385 from factory, yeah. or roundabouts because the X51, so yeah, um, it has a short shifter and stuff from factory. So yeah, cool. cool. All right, buddy. Cool. Well, uh, I'll let you polish your pride and joy, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll catch up later. Sounds good. All awesome. Right. All right. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Thank you. Just got a couple of 964s pulling in. That is a lovely color. What colour is that in fact? Let's, uh, let's ask that. What colour is this? It is ruby stone. Ruby stone? Yeah. Oh wow, I love the seats as well. That is lovely. Oh, look at the, like, I like the little yeah, toe. Yeah. Guys, check that out. <laughs> nice, how long you had it? 
since February. Okay, yeah, good. short time. First, first Porsche? Uh, yeah, uh, second. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. But yeah, first air cooled anyway. 964 as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love the 964s, no, man. Guys. I'm always on Auto Trader looking well, at them, but they're amazing. way at my price range now. <laughs> <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> Thank you, cheers. Nice. So, did it come exactly like this, or did yeah, you? Just yeah. as it is, yeah, yeah. Um, Le Mans Automotive painted it. He's very yeah. well known in the Porsche world. And it was his own car, so yeah, it's been about it for quite a long time, really. Nice, nice. I guess there isn't really much you can do to this. Like, it no, looks pretty complete. No, no, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can change well, anything now. What yeah. can you do? <laughs> no, that's it, nothing now. <laughs> right, so uh, are you, any road trip plans? Uh, Where are you planning on taking it? No, just all UK stuff, really. Yeah, yeah. like this is far, this is like four and a bit hours for me. So, oh, that's where, like, you, where are you from? Uh, I'm like Midlands Way, like out towards Wales. So, yeah, okay. it's yeah. Bit of, a, bit of a jaunt down here. So. Nice. Did you enjoy the roads down here? Uh, apart from the horrendous rain. It's where I'm Tom glad it's a C4, yeah. not a C2. But yeah. I just noticed you got matching glasses. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got the shoes as well, but I didn't put those oh, on today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, mate, it's lovely, lovely yeah. to meet you, man. You too, mate. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, buddy. You, cheers. All right. Matching glasses, guys. That's sick. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. There's so many cars. That's beautiful. All right, what do we have? Oh, and there's another 964. Got a Boxster. Hmm, this one looks very familiar. Is that, is that Dan's car? Let's find him. I swear that is. Oh, we've had this one on the channel before, guys. I spy, what do we have here? Hello, how are you doing? I saw you pulling in. <laughs> oh, hold on, I've got the mic in my hand. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. How are you? How are you? Yeah, very well, very well. Yeah, yeah making the most of it. Uh, how, how was your drive down? Or up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Do you yeah. enjoy the roads down here? Yeah, it's great fun. It's good fun. Yeah, um, yeah you can uh, enjoy your uh, enjoy your Porsche. Yes, you exactly, exactly. So, uh, sticking to the speed limit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still looking good, man. I'm still after some BBS wheels. Yeah, nice, yeah, you definitely need some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do, I so <laughs> do, I so <laughs> do. Uh, well, anything new on it since the last time we met? Um, just the uh, fab speed carbon intake. So, oh, nice. Which sounds amazing at high revs. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's about the only thing. And I've lifted it up a little bit since uh, since we... Too many front lips, gone, gone through too many front lips. Yeah, it was just too low, yeah. way, way too low. Yeah. When you can't get your fingers between the wheel and the tyres. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, kind of, you know. So uh, yeah, I've lifted it up about 15 mil, um, but it's a much better ride now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So low's good, but... Yeah, not as practical. Not as practical, no. Aha, there's a nice. man I know. <laughs> <laughs> cool, bro. Cheers. But yeah, we'll catch up later, yeah? Yeah, take care, bro. Uh, where are we? Guys, check out the car. You know, I like it when the cars are laid out like this because you can really walk around and admire them. When they're like all like clumped together, it's so difficult to, to kind of really appreciate the cars. But yeah, what do we have here? <laughs> Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, not bad, not yeah, bad. Yeah, love the drive down. Yeah, it was yeah, good fun. Yeah, yeah, we... Good following. We drove down, man, like the rain. Your car was kicking up the spray. <laughs> My wife was were like, going crazy. The car's filthy as well now. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to clean it now. Ah, you know, it's like aesthetics, man. Leave Lovely. it, man. It looks like it's been driven hard. That's what it is driven. Not like these guys that just come here and polish their cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I drove down with this lot and yeah, it was a nice fun drive. The weather was crap, but it kind of made it feel a bit more adventurous, you know. But what I love about your car is the wheels. And because I've been off the wheels for such a long time, every time I see your car, like I always kind of just... In fact, most whenever I see a 997 on a nice set of wheels, like I'm straight on eBay, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, straight on some. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, what, tell us about the wheels you got here. Uh, so yeah, they're from Wheels, based uh, in Canada. The guys yeah. there are really good. Yeah. Uh, I've gone a little bit wider at the front and rear, so front's gone from an eight to a nine wide, yeah. and the rear's gone from eleven to eleven and a half. Are you running spacers at all? 
Uh, I wasn't, there was spec not to run spacers, but when we dropped the car a bit at the rear, there's a five mil spacer at the back just to bring it out of it. So yeah, a bit of stretch on the tire at the front and, and the back, and yeah, I yeah. think doing it just right. You can always go a bit lower, but I'll scrape the front as you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't, man. Don't go through front lips. <laughs> but honestly, like on the road, it's got a really nice stance. Like when we was coming down the A3, like the stance in it just Thank looks you. looks wicked. All right. Anyway, I'm going to keep rolling around, but yeah, lovely car, mate. Uh, how's, how's your drive down? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's just a beautiful drive down. Yeah. Through, the, through all the trees and all that kind of stuff. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, um, yeah. It's just a shame it's wet. We just feel a little bit less. You're confident. a bit tentative, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, just, you've got to be a bit careful, right? Yeah. That's what you want to do. The thing is, I, I lost the back end recently on this. Oh. In a straight line. Really? <laughs> so I must have gone through a bit of a greasy patch. Yeah. I kind of floored it. Um, and literally stepped out and I was just like, oh, oh, okay. That's weird. <laughs> so, right, okay, I've never had that happen before, so. Do you thinking. find, like, the handling characteristics change when you air it down? Yeah, definitely changes yeah. things, you know. Um, any car, when it's lower, yeah. you end up with a bit more tracking, you know, the car just feels like it wants to follow the road. Yeah, Especially yeah. Especially with wider tires. Right. You've got to be a bit careful with that, all right? Um, yeah. Overall, though, I mean, you know, as you know, I've got a couple of cars on air ride. Yeah. Um, and I really rate the air ride. I mean, the bags on this are nowhere near as good as the bags on my other car mm. um, because these are sleeve bags. <coughs> right. Below bags, they, they form more like a standard spring. Yeah. So you've got to be careful. With that. Cool. Well, it's good to see you. Yeah. Good to see um, you for all those who don't know, uh, Will's. 964 is one of the first cars that I featured. Yes, it was. Um, yeah, a while ago now. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, that was, uh, was it Mr. Scramble? We yes, met? yes, it was. Scramble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, still love this car. You, still love it. <laughs> anyway, buddy, I'll catch you later. All right. <laughs> okay, the cars are about to go on track. This looks really track prepped. There's a roll cage in the back. Okay, so we're in the uh, paddock parking. This one's interesting. Boxster. Slightly modified, looks like it's been lowered. Racing seats. Will we see this one on track? That looks really good. Momo steering wheel. Let's have a little chat with the owner. Hello, yeah. this yours? It is. It's lovely. <laughs> I don't really see many modified Boxsters. No, it's, it's a rarity. Yeah. It, it started with Polster, the Ford 911. Um, more I've read though. Um, these are sort of really underrated, so I thought, well, if I take a base 987 3.2, yeah, and if I improve it, so if I what I've done with that is basically I've got new shocks, tower top mounts, sole exhaust, remap, uh, numeric shifter, seats, etc., etc. I could bring it up to something quite special. Yeah. Like you say, no one's really playing with these; they tend to concentrate more on those. Yeah. So I thought I'd try something different. And yeah. It's, it's brilliant, absolutely. Thank do you do all the work yourself? No, no. Um, the garage, shout out then to the garage. I live in Dorset, and the garage I use is Barnesport, uh, which is based up in uh, Blantford. <laughs> um, fantastic guys. Um, yeah, if you're down in Dorset and you want your car done, uh, take it there. They are amazing. Uh, most people do those, so yeah. yeah. For anyone who's thinking of doing what you've done, taking a Cayman, you know, modifying it, making it a bit more playable, playful. Yeah. Um, what would you recommend would be like, you know, the um, first set of mods, second set of mods? Well, what, what first, would... first thing to do when you buy it is check tyres. I mean, I bought mine, I got it for a good price. Tyres had tread on. I checked the age on the tyres, very old. So first thing I did is I put good tyres on it. That's important. Although today I'm running slicks, not ideal. Um, if you want it to handle better, um, shocks. Um, it sits too high, really. Yeah. If you can bring it down. Um, shock springs, you can have um, uh, sort of coilover springs, you can lower the thing down, that'll make a lot of difference. Good geo as well. Um, oh, remap as well. Um, sort of out of the factory, there's a big flat spot between, I would say, sort of three and four. Um, a good remap will get rid of that. 
So really, uh, most important is brakes, tires, um, check suspension, top of the suspension because they tend to rest. But yeah, no, that's it really. And then everything else is, well, do you want the seats? You go for the seats, I've, I've gone a bit mad on it. Um, yeah, and that's it really. Nice exhaust, so yeah. Nice, and what's your name? Uh, Justin. Justin? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Justin. Nice to meet you. All right, we're gonna work, uh, work? Woo, start again. We're gonna work our way round to the last car park, off-road, Cayenne. But yeah, there's a few more cars here, guys. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. 944 turbo split rooms. Oh, this guy's, he's, he's done it proud. He's done it proud. <laughs> this has got to be one of the nicest 944s. I've Thanks, seen. Man. Thanks. How long you had it? Uh, a couple of years. Yeah. So, uh, what what have you had done to it, or in the in your sort of your ownership? So, it's had four new shocks. It's mm -hmm. on Pony adjustables. Yep. Um, new OEM exhaust, and then just some maintenance, mechanical maintenance. Yeah. Lot um, of paintwork, but it's still not there. Probably gonna need to respray at some point. Four new tyres. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, that's about it, really. Nice. But yeah, a few mechanical bits. But yeah. yeah. All right, Ben. Cheers, nice buddy. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, guys, check this out. We need to speak to the owner of this. Is this yours? Okay, uh, is this a 914? Is that what it's called? It is a 914. Oh, it is, it is, yeah, it is. Yeah. I was wondering if you could maybe tell me a bit about it. That's sure. Right. Um, so it's based on a 914. Okay. We take the chassis, we use the bulkheads. Um, the rest of the body is carbon fiber. Um, so it's a, it's a resto mod? It is a resto mod, yeah. yeah. Um, so it uses 987 running gear and engine. It's 3.8 litre, gives just shy of 400 brake horsepower. So what inspired you to resto mod the 914? Uh, we didn't want to do a 911. No, that's the only reason. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, the platform's really, really good. So it's mid-engine, so the weight distribution's good. Yeah, um, yeah and it's just unusual. And um, how long have you been doing this? Uh, so it's taken three years to build the car. Okay. Um, this is the first one, the prototype. Um, we're taking orders now. Wow. So probably wow. 90, 12 months delivery time. Okay, and where are you guys based? Uh, Derbyshire, Maycock. So. I'm, I'm a little bit like, gobsmacked because <laughs> I, I don't really know what to ask you because this car is so unique you yeah, know I, I have seen like a few a, a couple of shows but they're, they're very rare aren't they? Uh, they they're not very popular in the UK yeah, yeah. yeah they, they weren't really sold into the UK um, more of an export vehicle for Porsche at the time so nice well thank you so much for uh, that you. short interview all right guys that's all we've got time for I hope you enjoyed this one it's been a really great turnout even though the weather's been a bit meh, a lot of cars came. There's a really nice selection of Porsches. I hope that I've managed to capture the essence of the event today down at Goodwood. But yeah, if you did enjoy this, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I want to send a big shout to people who have subscribed. Guys, I couldn't do this without you. So thank you very much. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care, peace. I'm gonna wear take some pictures so you can uh, check out some of the photos on my Instagram, Rolling Slow Media. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Peace.